few are the men who overcome the cobbles and bergs of Flanders. Even fewer still are those who truly conquer them. Those men are the Flandrians. As we look to this weekend's Tour of Flanders, we speak to one of the last undisputed Flandrians, Johan Musel, about what it is to belong to that very particular breed of rider. I think uh, you have to be a, a good rider in the Flemish races, especially to the Flanders, uh, also Paris-Roubaix. On the cobbles, uh, in bad weather, in rainy weather, in cold weather, even when it's snow, uh, you don't have to be uh, beautiful on the bike. Uh, you don't have to wear a beautiful helmet or beautiful sunglasses, but you have to win uh, to the Flanders. Uh, so, otherwise, you're not a Flanderier for me. A Flanderier has to be bad on the bike, a little bit uh, to the left or to the right, uh, especially on the cobbles. Ever since it was created, the Tour of Flanders has been a symbol of Flemish identity. Encapsulated by winners like Gaston Rebry and Brig Schott, tough, gritty riders from the Flandrian heartland programmed to push past pain for national glory. The people want Flandriens. That's especially here in Belgium. You have pain and you feel the muscles, but uh, you are in, how you say it, in, in a trance to, to go to, to the finish as fast as possible. Um, yeah, it's not exactly pain, it's, uh, you feel and you can't go harder. Each corner, each cobble, each hill, uh, there is something. So it's very stressful, it's maybe the, the most stressful race of the year. But it is not just a Flandrian state of mind. Meeting the challenge of Quaremont and Paterberg, it's all in the legs. Born in Museo, uh, Cancellara. There were three guys with a big engine, with uh, good muscles, um, and they like a race after 200k. And they like uh, the Flemish roads, the Flemish hills. Uh, they have something of explosivity. If you don't have a big engine, you are dropped after 200 kilometers. Not even the king himself managed to join the Flandrian three win club of Le Mans, Magny, Bus, Cancellara, Bonin, and childhood fan Musel. So for me, the biggest rider in the history and will stay the biggest is Eddie Merckx. But Eddie won not so many times. He was the best everywhere but he doesn't win so much to tour the Flanders. There is, however, one thing that strikes fear into even the toughest of Flandrians, the Koppenberg. It's very steep. It's, um, it's the hardest hill in the Tour de Flanders. I don't like the Koppenberg, uh, but any rider likes it. Uh, when it's bad weather and it's raining, it's difficult to get up, uh, even for a professional rider. You can lose the Tour de Flanders over there. You don't win the Tour de Flanders on the Koppenberg. With Tom Bonin and Fabian Cancellara, the greatest classics riders of their generation, injured and out of the running, could this year see the birth of a new Flandrian? We have other guys who can win. Um, Van Avermaet. He will win one day uh, Tour de Flanders or paris roubaix And I think also for uh, Van Marke. He is in a good shape. They are both in a good shape, so I hope one of the two Belgium guys will win this year. But they have to beat other great champions. They like the Flemish, Flemish roads, they, they like the, the old Quarmo. They're going uh, very hard here on the Quarmo. They're always in the attacking. Uh, so people like riders like that. And if you're riding like that, you will become a, a Flandrian. Sagan don't like the old Quaremont, because it's too long for him. Uh, I don't think he likes cobbles, but on the Patersberg, he, if he's still there, he can do something great. Surviving the crashes, the pain, the hard riding, winning an icon of your nation, becoming the ultimate Flandrian. Apparently, there's only one way to describe it. It's uh, a very, 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 very long orgasm. Maybe something like that. Uh, you work very hard uh, a whole year or a couple of months to be one of the, the favorites and then you win. At the finish, it's, it's over. You can say, OK, I win, I won again. So it's already something if you are at the start of, uh, of Tour de Flanders. 
And if you win, then you are a hero for the rest of your life.